Hey everyone, quick tutorial on the Badland winch. Um, I had an issue right out of the box. Um, I will admit I got this one off of an auction site, but it was uh, repped as brand new when I opened the box. Um, the box was still sealed. Everything was wrapped up. It looked brand new. Um, so I took everything out. It's the wireless... Uh, key fob version for the 2500 Badland winch. Uh, so I took everything out, got everything installed hardware wise, everything fit up perfectly. I got the uh, Yamaha Kodiak 700, it's the base model. Everything was good on that. Um, everything fit up perfectly i did have to buy an aftermarket back plate mounting plate right here um i had to buy a new one of those because the one that came with the winch did not fit and i had to buy a new pulley guard here rollers because the one that came with did not fit the Uh, mount that I bought so those two things probably less than $20 Other than that the motor the badline winch motor fits in there perfectly uh, No issues with that Got a bumper guard too so Installation is easy. Um, this video will not be about installation. It's very simple um, to install it mechanically on just about any four-wheeler um, this, however, is going to be about this guy right here. That is the solenoid that comes with the Badland winch wireless version. This is a wireless model. And inside there we have this solenoid. As you can see, there's four terminals and three posts in front. For the wireless remote connection it all fits inside of this cool little box here boom and the wireless portion of that is right here that all fits neatly in this box you close it up um, and it fits great they have pre-existing power cable out motor connection in straightforward right so i did not take this off um, everything was you know preset pre-wired red to red black to black appeared to be extremely simple i wired it up attempted to attach to my battery posts lo and behold smoking wires got extremely hot and this, my little fuse that comes with the setup would constantly just click, 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 click. That's all I heard was clicking. Wires got really warm, um, so I knew something was not functioning. Took it all apart, um, decided to just direct connect. Um, so I removed this fuse direct connected the exterior power from this box directly to my battery posts, um, connected it. As soon as I connected black and red, immediately all the lines burned up within two seconds. They were fried, melted. So I knew I had a short or some kind of a, an issue, obviously. Um, come to find out, inside here we had a direct short, so it was going open circuit all the way, like as if there were no closers or anything. So I looked at the back, this tag is your little connection diagram that was on this solenoid. 
Um, so I looked at that, looked at the wiring that I had, and sure enough, um, as you can see there, there's one, two, and three are your connections for the wireless remote. Then you got four and five, six and seven. Um, so the connection was going direct, I believe, from five to seven was how it was connected from the factory. So it was, it was going straight through like I had a direct connect. So I ended up rewiring it correctly per this diagram. And one of the connections I could hear was clicking great. The other connection was very faint hearing the sound. So I knew I had probably fried one of those, uh, one of these normally opens, I think is what happened. Um, the top there is normally open, bottom is normally closed. Same. So I think I fried one of these shut and it would no longer function. So had to go on eBay, got a new, not eBay, had to go on Amazon, got a new solenoid. Um, it's just the one that fit my wheeler. Um, it was supposed to be a replacement for this one. That was factory, but as you can see, it's considerably larger. Um, the post connectors are different. Same amount of connectors, four posts, four posts, three for the remote, three for the remote. Um, I actually like the new one I got better. Uh, the posts are a lot easier to connect with a straight vertical versus a horizontal. These two in the middle, as you can see, there's not much clearance. So with the screws going there, um, they're almost nearly touching each other, which is a terrible design. Um, so I got the new one from Amazon. Just search compatibility and you'll find the one that fits uh, or will work for your unit. Make sure you have the right voltage amps and everything that will uh, work for your unit. I think this is just a 12 volt unit. Um, so anyways, got that wired up. That came with the instruction diagram. Very simple, nice diagram to follow there and got it all hooked up per that diagram so now we have my negative battery positive battery positive motor negative motor connection uh, then the red here is my power for the wireless remote sensor here And then the black also connects to my negative uh, right here. So everything's wired up good. When I go to fire this bad boy up now, turn it on. A little blue light will come on there, you can see. Go to extend. You can hear it clicking. That's what you want to hear, a loud click. That means it's working. I'm going on the extend. Haha, -ha, now it works. Retract. Boom. We got power, baby. So long story short, um, just a word of advice. There was a lot of issues. I was looking for information on why my cables were burning up. Why did my winch not work? Um, word of advice, even though this comes in the package, preset, pre-assembled, inside this nice little tidy box with just two wires and two wires coming out, you think it would be very simple to install. Word of advice, pop this open. There's only four screws. Pop those open, go inside. Check your solenoid and make sure it's wired correctly. That could cause you a huge amount of headache. It took me a few days to get a new solenoid. I had to rewire it up, clean up the mess, welted, <laughs> melted wires everywhere. Um, so it was, it was a mess. Got it all cleaned up, all rewired. 
still keep your fuse there between the battery connection and your battery there. Solenoid and battery. Other than that, uh, that's my only word of advice. Hopefully this helps. Helped me. Um, took me a few days to figure this out. Got a nice little diagram. If you guys need uh, assistance with connecting, this shows you basically the schematic of how it should be wired. You got your negative battery, positive battery. Uh, this one over here is going to be your negative motor, positive motor. And depending on how you have it connected, it should work that way. Um, you may have to flip these two, six and seven around, if you're getting an opposite extend retract on your remote when you do it. Um, six and seven just is the out and in. So guys, hopefully that helps. Um, trying to make it simple. I didn't have anything to tell me to check that. I thought this was good, wired correctly from the factory. It may or may not be. So please guys, check the wiring on this before you install your Badline winch. Other than that, the winch should be good to go. Let's ride. Thanks for watching.